Ma, 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 what it do, broski? Came up out the cut on y'all ass, didn't <laughs> The boy came up out the cut up on you. But nah, what it do, broski? It's your name, man, young David. That fly. Two wide. You know what I'm saying? About to drop off of. Oh, hold on. Y'all know how you get up, man. I know the video. Hey, rappers, they got bodies. Drop off in the comment box. If you for real, familiar with these rappers or not, if you know all these rappers or not, you know what I'm saying? The ones you do know and the ones you don't, drop it in the comment box. Let's check it out, bro. I ain't gonna talk you out of there. Allegation is an allegation. You tell what? You tell proof and thank you, so why am I in handcuffs? How many times have you heard a rapper brag in his songs about killing someone or living life on the edge? It's actually a really common thing and has become a major part of lyrics in the rap industry. But it turns out that this clout-seeking and bragging on their songs may actually be way more than that. Not all of them try to hide the things they've done, including committing to serious. The dude that got narrating is blowing me out the rip, bro. Start out the real dude that got narrating is getting on my fucking nerve. Serious crime of murder. Shocked? Well, you'll need to take a seat as we show you some of these rappers who are actually killers. Before we dive in, make sure to leave a like on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand Man, look, check this out. Straight to the video. Rapper number eight. <laughs> the baby. Everybody know the baby burnt the nigga Walmart, so yeah. Nine year old rapper was born Jonathan Kirk in Cleveland, Ohio, but moved with his family to Charlotte, North Carolina when he was eight years old. While the baby was a pretty regular kid, this changed really fast as he got mixed up with the wrong crowd. The young boy became a little too interested in life on the street and went exploring. Sadly, he became a killer in the fall of 2018. The rapper went for a bit of sh- Bro, okay, the narrative that they putting on the- Exploring the streets and he found a body like, bro, what the fuck is he talking about? Stomping at Walmart, but got into a fight with a 19-year-old, Jalen Craig. Seeing two grown men fighting in the produce aisle of Walmart is quite funny when you think about it. Except this ended with a lot of blood. The baby shot. Ah, uh, you know I'm not finna listen to him talk about. Uh, I ain't gonna listen to what the hell he got to say to it. I'm just skimming through the video, and when I see the rappers click to it, bam! Y'all know who that is, cuz. That's why your nigga take K, man. Free take K, he ain't do nothing, cuz. Free K, free take K, he ain't do nothing but the race. All he did was run from the police, bro. He ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't run if he got me. You know what I'm saying, man? Free take K. <laughs> Fuck a beat. I would try to beat a case. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bruh. Come on, man. Get it on my nigga Tay K, bruh. Put in the comment box if you know about Tay K or not. If not, bruh, go listen to Tay K. The race. I want to hear what a goof ass motherfucker got to say, but really, like, he blowing me for real. Old Taylor McIntree knew that he wanted to be a rapper. He got really fast in. Man, he called me for whole government name and some more shit, bro. I ain't down with this old police ass shit. Into it and started his rap group called Daytona Boys right there in his Arlington, Texas hometown. You could tell. Hit the like button on this video. Fuck you. Hit the like button on this video. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm playing. I'm playing. Much respect to the uh, content creator, original content creator who uploaded this video. Please don't clap your boy. Please don't give me no copyright strike, guy. Remember? God, I can't afford another. Well, the TK had the ambition and drive to. All right, I'm done. Next, next, who, this, who, who the next one that caught one, bro? Who the next one that caught one? He's still talking about Taika. Jeez. Uh, who this? Number six, why I do wake up in the morning, I got murder on my mind. Shoot a pussy nigga in his face or in his spine. Nigga, I been holding guns since I was by nine. Wake up in the morning, I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. <clears throat> I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. Damn, I'm mad. This little motherfucker, he crazy. Bro, I'm mad he locked up for real, but. Miller has some shit out. Let me know if you know about Miller or not, man. Drop in the comment box. Sheesh. Hope we got past the police shit, but let's see what's up. Couple seconds, man. Y'all know. At this point, y'all understand that this the narrator of the video 
irritates my whole soul. No doubt about it, YNW Melly is one of the most controversial rappers around. Before he had even gotten to the legal drinking age, the rapper had already been in a lot of trouble. Be That's all. <laughs> I can't take it, Kurt. I can't take it. Who next, man? Who next? Who next? The murder case that nearly ruined his rise in the rap industry. Oh! When French Montana started his rap career in the early 2000s, he got hit with a murder case Whoa. that nearly ruined his rise in the rap industry. Hold up, I ain't no French pop, the nigga. Whoa! Whoa! Hello, now I ain't no French burnt the nigga. The rapper went to a recording studio in the Bronx with some people he thought he was friends with. However, French Montana wasn't exactly a good judge of character, as these men were plotting to finish him off after the session. Montana Eesh. was ambushed as he walked out of the building. It got pretty messy as he tried fighting back. There was a scuffle, a lot of shots were fired, and inevitably people got hit. While French Montana got a hole in the head that sent him to the hospital in critical condition and Eesh. left a lifelong scar, one of the other men wasn't so lucky. He died, and French Montana came home to a warrant for his arrest. Then, just like Tay K, Frenchie decided to do the race. What is it with rappers and running away when they're obviously going to get caught? Man, shut your bitch ass up, bro. Y'all find another narrator. Please. Find another narrator. I ain't no fr Now, there's one. There, there's one strike on me, bro. There's one strike on me. Count one point on me. I did not know French had burnt a nigga. That's news to me. Damn. Everybody know what, boy. Everybody know. Put it. Everybody know what. Where's my drop? Damn, I ain't even got the drop. I ain't got a drop loaded in. As soon as I seen Gucci, first thing came to my mind. Put that nigga ass in the dirt on my white ball head, baby. Five. The rap community was shocked when the body of local rapper Pookie Loke was discovered by detectives near a middle school in Atlanta, Georgia. Lord bless that man, family, yo. Cause that man got a family. You know what I'm saying? To my understanding, he got children. Sister, brother, mom, loud. Lord bless that man, family, but I s put that nigga ass in the dirt. That's the first thing that came to my mind, fool. What even shocked people more was the person responsible for this, Gucci Mane. The rapper admitted that he was guilty, but insisted that it was done in self-defense. Apparently, Gu Yeah, no, we know about this, we know about this. Who else done, who else done burnt the nigga, bro? Who else done burnt the nigga, bro? Who else, who else, who else, who else, who else? Hey, yo, hey, yo. Go, Phil. Number three, A-R-A-B. Two rappers, A-R-A-B, <laughs> he don't even know it. R-A-B and Cassidy got hit with murder charges after killing Desmond Haw A -R -A -B. <laughs> Hawkins. Cassidy had issues with people who were all- This man just literally just Google search rappers who got bodies and start making that video. Whoever behind it, I'm pretty sure it's a team. Okay, I'm, I don't think it's one person. Even if it is just one person. He's good goof ass, just Google rappers who really got bodies and just made this video, bro. He don't know shit about these folks, for real. Always pushing him around. However, they couldn't do so much as A.R.A.B. was always around as his enforcer. Basically, A.B. was the muscle in the relationship. <clears throat> Things turned ugly when A.B. <clears throat> ah! It don't surprise me that Al got a body, though. King Vaughn, number two. It. Bruh. Long live King Von, man. Long live King Von. I'm definitely not listening to what the hell he got to say about Von. Cause he gonna say something disrespectful and then she gonna piss me off for real, for real. But yeah, long live King Von. 100, you know what I'm saying? Von's real. I rock with Von, dog. I rock with Von, dog. I catch myself watching this million dollar worth of game episode, like, a lot, you know what I'm saying? And listening to shit like, Von went missing. Von went missing. Von was gonna make some noise, dog. Him and Polo G doing my favorite niggas coming up out of uh, Chicago. My favorite new niggas. God damn. Long live Von, bro. Who the last nigga that got a body, dog? Is that trying to hide that motherfucker or no? It's like number two, King Von. Who number one, bro? Who this nigga? Oh, uh, we out. Bam! Who is this, bro? Who the hell? Ones of the 90s. He was discovered by Eazy E and then released an album in 1995 with BG Knockout. Unfortunately, his career took a nosedive when he got into a shootout in Watts in 1992. During this incident, he killed a man, but was also really wounded. After recovering from his gunshot wounds, Dresta had to face his charges, which were definitely. Bro, you can find nobody else that got body. 
You can't find nobody else to burn a nigga. Put Snoop on there. Then Snoop be the murder. Then Snoop beat one. Dear Lord, somebody, hey, yeah, yeah. Then Snoop beat one right before he popped up, right before he popped off when he fighting the murder charge. I must like a Snoop burnt the nigga. Oh, they, oh, they got down the evidence. Well, murder. I don't know. I don't he know. pleaded no contest to volunteer. I'm like, damn, you can't find nobody else who done burnt the nigga though. For real, for real. It. I don't even know who the hell that nigga is, bro. Somebody put in the comment box so y'all know who this is. But yeah, man. Straight like that. We about to get up out of here, bro. Yeah. Y'all let me know what type of videos y'all want to see, man. I'm in the bag, bro. I'm in the bag. I'm in the bag. Got a lot of drip coming. And a whole bunch of bangers on the way, fool. We up out of here, bitch. All my OGs, youngest, stay ones. New members alike. To the next one. That's all. Ha!